In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 7, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 33 and 34. We're still in the grid end. Question 33. The score on a trivia game is obtained by subtracting the number of incorrect answers from twice the number of correct answers. If a player answered 40 questions and obtained a score of 50, how many questions did the player answer correctly? This is systems of equations. We have two separate equations. So whenever you're doing these, I would first start with these word problems with a number of answers and so that's just going to be what i call a single variable before doing this coefficient with twice the correct and incorrect just look for the total number we've only got two types of questions we've got c and i and we know that the total number of answered questions is 40. so that's our first equation just the total number of questions answered now we can use the one with the coefficient we're told that the score is obtained by subtracting the number of incorrect from twice the correct. So twice the correct minus the incorrect. And what score was obtained? 50. So here are the two equations. Now you could use elimination. I think in this case, I would just use substitution because we want to solve for how many correct answers. And so what we can do with the single variable one, we can just re-express it, we can express i in terms of c. So we can subtract c, we can say that i equals 40 minus c. And then for this i here, we're going to plug in 40 minus c. And so then we're only dealing with c. So we have 2c minus 40. And remember, this is, the, this is the quantity, 40 minus c. So do it like this equals 50 so you just want to be careful with your sign so then we get 2c minus 40 we get plus c all right because we're subtracting this whole quantity for i equals 50 and then we add up the c's we have 3c we add 40 to both sides and we get 90 and so c is 30 that is the answer all right, question number 34. Point C is the center of the circle above. What fraction of the area is the circle in the area of the shaded region? Okay, so this is, remember, the whole area, obviously that's the area, but when you've got part of an area, it's sort of like a wedge, like a pie wedge. This is called a sector. It's just the proportion of the area. If we're dealing with part of a circumference, that is called an arc. And if you think about this intuitively, a sector is an arc. These are just the, the proportions of the circumference and area and based on the angle. So 100 degrees, we know that 100, we can figure out the fraction of the whole area. It's just 100 over 360, and that will give us the fraction of the area. It's the same with the arc. And I just use your calculator for this one because you're not going to, you don't have to reduce to the lowest terms, but this is not going to fit in the grid. So we take 100. We divide it by 360, and that will be the proportion. You see, this is a divergent decimal. It keeps going and going. So you could put 0.277. You could just what's called truncate it. That's what I recommend, just cutting it off. Because remember, the decimal takes a column, too. There's four columns. You could also round the very last digit. But again, I, I don't recommend rounding. You can make a mistake. You could also use your calculator and convert this to a fraction. And that's 5 over 18. So any of these three would be acceptable for question 34.